Hello and welcome to this short demo session. I'm Kevin Wild. I head up the pre-sales function here at Synity covering the EMEA region. And today we are going to talk about data collection and enrichment. This is a necessary part of just about every single migration project you're going to engage in. At some point, you are going to need to either go and fix data, uh, which you can't do in your source system, or you're going to need to create data that doesn't exist, but you need it for your target system. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you through a short slide, just talk about the context, where this is going to be useful, where you would use it, and then we're going to go into the system and we're going to do a short demo. So what you can see on the screen now is the eight-step methodology that we use at Synity. Now, if you've gone through a migration or you're planning on going through one, you will cover each of these steps. And this includes everything from extracting the data through to profiling it, analyzing it, defining and documenting what your target system is going to look like, and then ultimately, how are you going to get the data from your source systems into the new format? Part of that process is going to be the enrichment and the construction of new data. So let's imagine that you're part of the project team. You have got a whole bunch of validation reports which have identified issues in the data, missing data, things that need to be fixed and corrected for, for you to be able to load properly. Now, if you're in a traditional project, this is usually going to be done in Excel. Someone is going to hand you a document, you're going to go through it, you're going to fix it, you're going to you know, make the changes that you need to, and then the document goes back to somebody to collate it all, put it together, and make sure that it becomes part of the migration. Our experience tells us that this is a very, very problematic way of doing things. You will end up with many, many different versions of the same document. It's hard to keep track of the master, and it's really hard to make sure that the changes and everything that you have done are accurately reflected in your migration. And so what our customers benefit from is having a single place they can go in, they can see the data that needs to be changed, they can make their changes and be confident this is going to be included as part of the migration. They're not going to lose the work that they've done and they're not going to have to redo it again and again. So what we do at Synity is we provide exactly that. We've got a platform and a capability called Construct. And in that, we allow business users, the data team, whoever it is, to go in to a custom-built web page, see the data, interact with it, and make sure that they are able to do what they need to do in the most efficient manner. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into a demo of the system. What you can see on the screen here is the landing page to our platform. So all of the different capabilities that we offer, quality, migrate, catalog. But for the purpose of this demo, we're gonna go into construct. So what you can see down the left-hand side now is all of the pages that have been created and are available to me for either enrichment or construction. So for the example, we're going to have a look at equipment. Imagine that you are on the project, you have been given a list of equipment to review, go make some changes, and make sure that it's correct so that you can use it going forward. One of the things that's really important to us at Synity and also to just projects in general is making sure that you get it right. So when we have a look at a record, little things like making sure that you can only select values from pick lists or making sure that you are putting the right data type into a field. These are basic checks, but they help to make sure that you get the data right the first time. And all of this is built into the construction page automatically. So I can go through, I can make a change. Let's go and change this one from a machine to a vehicle. Let's save it. One of the other things that's really important is the ability to track changes, to see who has done what, when they did it, um, and to see what the old and new value was. So if I click on audit information, everything that I've done, time, date, old value, new value, all of it is stored in the application. So if at any point you need to go and understand who made the change or when it was done, we have the information available to us. So this is, this is the capability and the mechanism that we have for managing the enrichment and the construction of data. It will come up in every project. You are guaranteed to face it. Can your migration software do that? Find out more, visit synity.com.